effective freedom of speech in a given place at a given time is at least as much a function of what I call the private superpowers, the Twitter, the Google, the Facebook, the Wikipedia, as it is of the state you're in. This is new. If Facebook were a country, it would be the most populous country on Earth, 1.7 billion regular monthly users. Some of you may have heard the acronym POPs, privately owned public spaces. Not just in this country, but even more in Europe, we have privately owned public spaces. They are, in a sense, providing the, the communicative infrastructure for our public sphere. And I think we need to look a lot more attention to that. Uh, the question of how exactly the Facebook news feed is determining what comes up on your screen, how the New York Times or the Guardian manages its pages on Facebook, these are questions absolutely of the first important. I think we need to demand more transparency and more accountability and more appealability from the private superpowers, particularly from Facebook, but also from Google. And I also think we have to work with them to think positively about how we can make these magnificent platforms work to help us recreate the public sphere. Those are just a few suggestions. They're not enough. I don't believe all of those, if we did them all big time, would be enough. Uh, but this is where we have to look, because in the age of trumpery, in the age of trumpery populism, we have, I think, a market failure in the marketplace of ideas. We are losing the PNICs, the public sphere, the public square we need for de democratic self-government. And we need to fight and fight skillfully to win it back. Thank you.